This is, without a doubt, the best 3D printer I have ever used. And when I tell you what it costs, you're going to be shocked. Hey, what's happening, guys? Taking a look at another 3D printer today. This one is the Anycubic Cobra Neo, which is a new printer that is out from Anycubic. And it is super affordable and absolutely one of the easiest printers that I've ever set up. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Let me go show you uh, where I got it in the price. All right, well, I bought it from Amazon, obviously. You know, I have no patience for anything to come from China. So here it is, the Anycubic Cobra Neo pre-installed FDM 3D printer with direct drive extruder high precision printing removal, blah, blah, blah. It's a 3D printer. The base size is uh, 220 mil by 220 mil by 250 millimeters high. But here's the killer, man. It is $169. $169. It's almost disposable. So cool. Uh, pre-installed, 90% pre-installed, 10 minutes. Uh, closer to 20, probably. Direct drive extruder, absolutely. Yeah, it's killer. I love it. Auto leveling, let's see if anything else tells you about it. Uh, uses the Marlin code. There you go. All the information you need to know about it, you can pause that and play it. Here it is as opposed to the Viper. Build volume 8.7 by 8.7 by 9.8. Viper a little bigger. 25% auto level PEI spring steel. Yep. Direct drive. See, that one has a separate Bowden. Less than 100 millimeters per second, 180 millimeters per second. Let's see what kind of reviews it has. Oh, pretty good. Awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So for 169 bucks, I, I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a 3D printer. Oh, man. I got my first 3D printer, I don't know, six, seven years ago. It was an Anet A8. It was literally two boxes of parts, and it took me two days to put it together. I have had four 3D printers since then. This being number this being number four, and it was incredibly easy to assemble. On the Z-axis gantry here, there are two screws here, two screws here that assembles this entire gantry. There are four screws that hold on the hot end and the extruder there. There are two small screws that hold on the filament spool. And there are two small screws that hold on this excellent control panel. Now, this printer is a direct drive printer. You can see there is no Bowden tube. The filament flows down from the spool directly into the extruder and then finally it comes out of the nozzle down there and in my opinion and I am absolutely no 3D printer expert but in my opinion this is what makes this printer so simple to use you've got a direct path there are no turns there's no Bowden tubes nothing to get bunched up or jam now everything on here other than the z-axis here is belt driven you can see the belt right down there you might even be able to see it move but I'm not sure a little bit oh there's a better one you can see that down there on the y-axis now, the reason I say I like that, and it's cool, is because right here on the end of both the Y 
and the x-axis we have these belt tensioning knobs which makes it really easy to keep good tension on there <clears throat> now the bane of my existence in 3d printing thus far has been bed adhesion even back from the a net days where you sprayed it with uh, hairspray or use the glue stick, uh, blue painters tape, piece of glass, you know, the hundred things. Oh, it's always been a problem. Now, the last printer I had, and this one, they have the PEI coated spring steel bed that hooks onto the magnetic build plate. I have not had a single problem with this. This is like print number 10 for me on this. The reason I'm printing a bench at number 10 is. I am switching. I was using um, plain PLA, and now I'm using the uh, silk PLA, so I wanted to uh, make sure my settings were good. Another thing to notice about this is there are no bed adjustments. You, if you wanted to adjust the bed, you would literally have to take out those spacers and do something about it. So that's not a bad thing because you can see that little uh, yellowish orange thing sticking out there under the head that is the uh, bed automatic levelings thing it is a magnetic uh, inductance type probe and it works great it does a 25 point bed level after which you can set your uh, Z height and everything is ready to go the printer features a micro SD slot along with a USB uh, C port that you can plug into um, so you could run it from the computer I am just running it from a micro SD card myself the control panel here I find exceptionally easy to use and very cool first of all it's not a touchpad which is really nice it has the wheel here the encoder so even while this thing is working, you can see the uh, nozzle temperature. My extrude temperature is set there at 198. I can click the knob and reset the temperature while it's working. That goes for the bed and the Z offset. Yes, you can set your Z offset, probably the most important setting in getting good print adhesion, right from here while it's going. In my opinion, that's is just super cool. Super, super cool. So let me show you an example of something I printed. All right, here is a uh, parametric circular container. Screw threads, very nice. And look at that beautiful pattern on the side of that. Uh, very little post-processing you know, needs to be done, just kind of chamfer those edges a little bit. This printed in uh, about 7 hours, I printed it at uh, 60 millimeters a second. Now this I just downloaded off Thingiverse. You can see these uh, hexagonal holes here. They're a little undefined and there is a slight bit of texture there, but other than that looks great now here is something that I drew up in CAD 3d modeled and printed this is a uh, three-quarter by eight machine screw it's got a chamfered head and then here is a matching nut to fit it internal threads chamfered again they all they, they just need the bird now, it, it does fit on here, but I am just learning how to do this, this 3D design. So you can see it's a little, it's a little tight, doesn't want to go much past that, which means my clearance, my clearance hole I did in the nut before I threaded it needs to be enlarged a little. I used whatever the threading chart said for 3 quarter 8, <clears throat> so it might just be off a little bit. Then again, it could just be some of these artifacts 
that are inside of the uh, inside the threads there. Yeah, so maybe if I uh, do a little post processing of them, it might get better. But that's neither here nor there. That's just something about me learning 3D modeling. The printer did a phenomenal job. Look at that. Smooth. You can't see a lot of the layer lines. This is printed at a 0.2 millimeter height. And before I go any further with this, there's one person I've got to thank for all their help with the 3D printer. And it is the same guy who makes Uncle Rob's magic solder flux. And that's, of course, Uncle Rob. So, Uncle Rob, thank you very much. Your 3D printer help has just been truly invaluable. I think we're at about at the end here. There it is. It is complete. Now, don't shoot me, Uncle Rob. I'm going to touch the plate. But with this printer, you can get away with this because there is no bed. The bed is firmly mounted. So all I need to do now is go like this, like that. Oh, didn't bend it enough. Hang on. Now it's going to prove me wrong, right? It's very hard to do with one hand. Hang on a second. There. I had to give it a little two-hand pop and it comes right off. No problem. All right, let's go over to uh table and take a look. All right, this is King Rune Silk PLA. It's that multicolor stuff. You see we've got, we're blue, kind of purplish red and green so we pull off the brim here yeah all right let's take a close-up look here looks pretty good let me put some more light on here okay so the bottom is nice and flat and the sides, you can still see the layer lines a little bit. I'm using three walls at 0.2 millimeter uh, layer height. I bet you if I change that to 0.1, it'll be a lot better. We look at these holes. A couple little artifacts there, but all in all, not, not terrible. This is my first ever print with this filament. This is at uh, 198 degrees. Like I said, 30 millimeters per second. Yeah. Um quite happy with that I like it and a little bit of string right there in the door so maybe I could drop that down to 196 and that might improve but there she blows fair winds and following seas sailor Benchy all right guys that's it I'm done telling you about this printer I like it I am not a 3D printer person, okay? I have struggled with them my entire life of using them. This one just works. It's fantastic. Anycubic Cobra Neo. If you're looking for a 3D printer, I recommend this one. And I have to thank the patrons for this because we use patron money to buy this. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have a fun little toy like this. So check out the link down below if you're not yet a patron. A uh, buck a month is all it takes to join. All right, guys. Whoa. Oh, no. Benchy capsized. All right, guys. That's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.